In one week, nearly three dozen security troops have been killed and injured in attacks across Egypt. Most of the casualties were in North Sinai, a stronghold for militant groups. It's been two and a half years of continuous battle there. Experts say these casualties could have been much bigger if the army wasn't prepared. President El Sisi was among the first army generals to initiate counterterrorism training for the Egyptian armed forces. It was his efforts that made our army capable of performing planned military tactics, which is effective against organized enemy troops. And at the same time, he created, trained, and prepared fighters who are now experts in non-organized terrorism, which is what is happening in the Sinai now. The Egyptian military has often reported inflicting heavy casualties on the militants' groups. To President el-Sisi, faster court trials could be the best tactic to limit these attacks, a point he repeatedly raised. On Wednesday, the Justice Minister said on a televised interview that he'll make sure that will happen. He also vowed vengeance on these militant groups. 400,000 of them won't be enough to replace our honorable martyrs. I swear to God, my heart will not settle unless each one of us is replaced with 10,000 of these groups, the Muslim Brotherhood, or those who love them, agree with them, or sympathize with them. The Justice Minister said that all death penalties given to former President Mohamed Morsi, the Brotherhood leaders and others accused of involvement in mass violent cases will be implemented after all the appeals are over. The agony many Egyptians feel when they see young officers dying in such attacks continues. Vengeance is what many are calling for. Yet critics were alarmed by the Justice Minister's statement. Taking a neutral approach, they argue, should always be his position, so that trials could proceed fairly without any direct or indirect influence. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.